if you remember all the way back in March or May of 2020, I released a video where I played FNAF 1 through 6 in one video. And as of right now, that is my second most viewed video with 13,000. I don't know why, but it's gotten like 4,000 in the last few weeks. And this is the continuation of that video. But instead of six FNAF, like official FNAF games, this is fan games. And of course, the first one had to be Treasure Island, which is literally the first FNAF fan game to ever exist. You know, just a little fun fact for all you uncultured swines. This is obviously the remastered version, which I've never played before. Um, it would have been pretty cool if I decided to play the original version, but I, I should probably be listening to this call actually. But yeah, this video is dedicated to six of what I would believe to be some of the most iconic Five Nights at Freddy's fan games. I don't know how to play this, by the way. Okay. A little difficult to see because I don't have the full screen. Okay. I think I was supposed to change... I was supposed to turn off the camera for him. But because I already did it, trying to figure out the controls... I screwed myself. <laughs> so I've changed it to full screen on my side to make it a little easier for myself. Turning off the office lights can save power. Be very, very careful with the switch. I'm going to listen to this tutorial. I'll be right back. The Lord. The Lord. <coughs> wow, good night. That's such a nice thing to say, buddy. Man, it feels good to be playing one of these FNAF games again. I've not done this in a while. Probably not since, well, I guess One Night at Flumpty's 3, I played that. But, you know, I'm really glad I'm making this video. You know, it gives me a chance to make another big video. I haven't done this in a while since the last six FNAF games video. It was space to turn off a camera, right? I'm already kind of forgetting. I don't like that that was looking at me. I also don't like how insanely dark it is on my screen. You see all the, the Disney? Oh, that's the, <clears throat> that's the Donald that comes after me. Why is there just like an actual house kitchen in here? That is a very weird design, design decision. It's already 2 AM, what the heck? Am I only doing- <clears throat> am I only dealing with inverted Mickey in this night? If so, this should be smooth sailing. Also, where's the- where's Goofy's body? Because you always see- Why is my light flashing? What? 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 I saw that! Why are my lights flashing? I don't like this. You can't introduce a new mechanic? I didn't get taught this! Okay, never mind. It was just inverted Mickey on the other side of the room. I'm lucky I saw him because it's literally pitch black over there. It's like when there when there are other characters, I have to do. What? Who was that? <laughs> I did it, so I don't care. Okay, let's continue on to night two. <gasps> You didn't tell me about McDonald, or maybe you did while I was talking. Oswald! That was Oswald! <laughs> Halfway through the power. It's only 3 a.m. 3 a.m., guys. If I spin this fidget spinner on the Mickey's head, for, for, for uh, smash the like button. I don't know. I'm just gonna do that. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Really shouldn't have done that. My power is getting pretty low. Cutting it way too close. Oh god, that was way too close. Second floor, okay. Yeah, I... I lowered the contrast on the monitor and it is so clear. Also, I saw... There's Minnie. I saw Goofy, which I think requires me to do this. If I remember from the 
FNF mod I played based on this game. I get the feeling that's the mechanic. And for many, it was just... Ooh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> My FNF skills have helped me now once again. No, you are not. Always got to remember that I am in a non-shutoff camera in case another character decides to come like that. <sighs> Bunch of bullies. Bunch of ding-dang bullies. Out to get me. I didn't even do anything. I'm just trying to get some cash. I'm getting killed by all these childhood, sh childhood characters. Jesus Christ. Stupid duck. That one gets me every time because it's just like a boom. It's like a... It's like a base boost in game. Ooh, okay. Started the con- I concentrated that entire night. That was not it, honestly. Because of the settings that I did to my monitor, and I can see way better now, it made it way easier. Pay attention to everything. If there are eyes, use the flash. If there are no eyes, stand still. Camera flash, stand still, flashlight. Ooh, I wish I had this in the main office when I was- when it was dark. What? No. Hey. I stood still. It literally said that's what you were supposed to- Aww. Computer. I got a key. That's not what I wanted to do at all. How do I go back? Oh. Oh. Flash. Go forward. Okay, I did it. I got this key. You have- that doesn't look like eyes. Okay. Oh god. This is spooky. Oh. I don't like that you hum at me. That is like, leave me alone. I wish I could, but I have no choice in this world. Good for me. I'm in the staff room. I don't know if I want to be in here. What does this mean? What does the mean? The meaning? The lore. Night four. Getting pretty far into this game. One of them has eyes and can see you. Try hiding in the dark. All right, here we go. We're getting pretty close to the end now, I think. I mean... I saw a hanging Mickey. <laughs> Never thought I would say that. <laughs> what was that? Oh my god, there are so many of you! You're doing the whole double whammy now, huh? Come on, that's not fair. God. Ooh, that is stressful. God, that sucks. <laughs> yeah, it's the eyeballs again. Oh no, whatever will I do? Hi, Mickey. Which one are you? You look like inverted Mickey. <laughs> oh. Just going straight into night five. I didn't didn't expect. All right, <clears throat> we're in the final night. I expect it to not be in the fi the actual final night. Uh oh, already starting. I see. Oh God, <clears throat> very cool. <coughs> okay, I'm expecting this to. I'm expecting this to take some concentration. If I have anything to go off from night or you're a <clears throat> okay, you're a I don't know why my throat is a, like dry. 
I just had water. Oh. Whoa. They're everywhere. Stop. I'm going to have no cameras left. It's only 1 a.m. Wow. Oh, never mind. Well then, I guess I have to do night six. Seems they have combined. Pay attention to a starting position. Use your defenses accordingly. I don't know what that means. I'm really not sure what the what the mechanic here is. I mean, it's all of the mechanics, but how am I supposed to know which is the correct one? Not that one. <laughs> hmm. I'm really not sure what uh what I'm doing. I'm gonna look this up because I literally have no. Clue. <laughs> Okay, after doing some research, I'm realizing I may actually be biting off more than I can chew with this knight. This is really freaking confusing. I see. So it's where the starting position tip comes from. Okay. I'm acting like I get it. What camera is this? Three. So that means... I don't... <laughs> God, my memory is terrible. I literally just read the comment on how to do it. I think I got it now. If he's using cam five or eight... And still. Nine, turn off the lights. Anywhere else, um, just turn off a camera. What? I didn't even have enough time to find out where he was. That's literally just not even fair. I'm not the Flash. What? Oh god, you need to have like the speed of a world record Rubik's Cube solver to be able to beat this. No! Oh my god! Oh. That is the crap that I don't like about these games. I literally lost like a fraction of a second because I missed the camera button. So I couldn't figure out which one he was even in. So that's why I died. Oh my God. God. I'm, I feel lightheaded. What do I do? My hand feels fuzzy. That is the most sad. That is the most. I, I've never been so satisfied with an outcome. Okay, I'm not able to. Oh, it's like an it's like a, an original like Mickey Mouse um little. Uh, stage room. There's Oswald. Picture of Walt Disney in the corner. So this room must be like extra old. If, um, there are concept pictures with Oswald. Hi. Is there anything I'm supposed to... Hi. I don't know if I'm supposed to be doing anything. I couldn't control anything. Hey! I don't... I don't exactly know... What that meant. But, I don't know. 
I think the most rewarding thing about that was the fact that I beat Night 6. That was glorious. That is Treasure Island done in this video. Just five more games to go. I imagine that this video is not going to be done for a while, but I feel it'll be worth it in the end. I'll see you in the next game. The next game on my chopping block for this video is, of course, going... Well, it was, of course, going to be Candies. There was no way I wasn't going to be playing this game at some point. Now, of course, I'm playing the remastered version because this is the, the, the definitive version of the game. I get the feeling that this one is not going to be as hard as... Uh, I, don't, I don't think that this one's going to be as hard as the um, Treasure Island was. Which, by the way, uh, it's actually been like three, four days since I recorded the, the, tre the Treasure Island segment. Because the day after I got sick, uh, I'm feeling a lot better now. Thankfully, in this game, the time is right there. It's because uh, my webcam was blocking the time in Treasure Island. Sorry if you can hear that stuff in the background. I can't control it. I don't need to listen to the phone calls on how to play the game with this because it's very basic, like, classic FNAF close the doors for the characters. And my memory of when I played this last back in, like, 2019 is kind of still there. Obviously, for these guys, you close the door. For the penguin, you close the door. For him, you close the window. For a chimp boy, you close... You just close the door. I mean, that's really all you can do, is close doors. Gameplay is a lot more simple for this game than it was for Treasure Island. Treasure Island was honestly pretty complicated for a first game. <laughs> and Night 6 was hard. Like, that was like... That was like an hour of full concentration to beat that. But it was very satisfying when I did. Oops. Yeah, the duck coat. That's right, and there's old candy you, who you have to pay attention to in the cameras because you can't see his eyes. He don't got none. There we go, candy. First encounter. Um, I remember the first time I played this, um, I don't know if they made the remastered version harder, but the original candies I was able to basically beat on my f the, the first five nights on my first attempt, and I think that was basically what happened when I played Remastered for the first time. I don't know. My memory of when I played Remastered is not the best. It has been a few years. And I don't think I even attempted Night 6. Honestly, for the first night, you really just have to pay attention to Cam 6 and 4, because that's where Cindy and Candy go. Or, even better, you don't even have to look into the cameras, because you can just keep switching, you know, looking through, looking from forward, from door to door. Like, yep, there, there's Candy. Or was that Cindy? I think that was Cindy. Wow, they appear pretty often on the first night. That is a surprise. Usually the first night is pretty uneventful. Yep, and then we have the story with the, with the puppet, or I should say Vinny, as his name is revealed to be in Candy's 3. But he does look an awful like, a lot, an awful lot like the puppet, doesn't he? And I suppose while I'm waiting for this guy to finish saying what he has to say in the call, uh, if you've made it this far in the video, consider subscribing and liking this video after you finished watching it, because the whole YouTuber thing of like, like it right now, even though you're only like a quarter through the video. How are you, how are you, I, I understand that likes and dislikes have completely lost their meaning on YouTube. YouTube agrees, they literally deleted the dislike button. So, you know, that's cool. But uh, subscribing, you can do that. Um, if you're enjoying the video so far. Anyways, I'm gonna stop talking for a second because then this portion of the video is gonna end up taking way longer than it probably should because I already know that this video is going to be very long by the end of it. It may even be longer than the original 6 FNAF games video, which was already like an hour and a half long. <laughs> I've basically said everything that I wanted to in that particular subject anyways. Basically, 
thanks for the support and also support me more. <laughs> it's pretty cool that the characters can just appear from any door that they want. It doesn't matter. It's not like each character has a designated door like they do in FNAF 1. They can actually just, you know, candy will sometimes go to this door and then he'll go to this one and Cindy will go to this one and this one blah blah blah. blah. Except for Chimp Boy, who is not here anymore. He's there. He will, I think, always go to this door. So there are certain characters that do have designated areas, like Monkey Man, um, going to the left door, Blank going to the middle. I think Penguin always goes to the right door as well. It's just Candy and Cindy that have control over which doors they go to except for the window and chester is slow tonight forgot his name for a second that's why i was just calling him chimp but his name is chester man i need to remember that they disappear like immediately and i can open the door very soon that would save me a lot of power i mean it's only 68 percent battery that's been taken so it's like this game is pretty generous with its power drainage compared to treasure island yeah see gone already door open already so maybe that's what i should do just so i can get confirmation when they do disappear because i get the feeling that in later nights they take more time to go away is this when blank starts to move yeah blank is gonna be moving oh no blank is looking at me if he keeps staring, I might have a heart attack. <laughs> Blank sure is taking his time coming in here. Well. Okay. I guess... May I guess don't do that. I swear that that's not... I mean, I guess I'm wrong. But I remembered that... That's not exactly what would happen i thought that he would just knock out your camera for a few seconds and you would have a little longer to stop him from breaking the window but i guess i was very very wrong <laughs> there we go night three dunzo oh no he's getting spookier listen puppet man i didn't kill these children i'm just a uh camera nice <laughs> nice nice gonna earn that extra cash in a safer manner and actually like possibly enjoy an experience here question mark who knows if that is even possible because let's be honest this place doesn't seem to have any sort of windows it has terrible lighting i mean that might just be a case of the place is closed down, so there's minimal lights to save money. In fact, I think that's it, but, um, yeah, it's, uh, very interesting. I have no idea if that even made any sense. I started focusing on this and losing my train of thought, so... Now, I think that the only new mechanic is that I have to pay attention for all the candy in the cameras because he doesn't have eyes so I can't see him in the doorway. I've already been looking through the cameras for every character anyways so shouldn't be a problem because it's r the amount of power that is drained when you're using cameras is honestly not that bad. It might get worse over time in like night six for example i am not sure there he is there he goes easy peas e i think they purposely wait until i'm out of the cameras to move oh okay blank was very quick about that one or he just moved immediately as i left the camera like i have been noticing characters do <laughs> There we go. Not so bad. Hello, it's Candy and Cindy. I just thought of something really funny while editing this video. 
Candy. <laughs> Candy's not fit in your mouth. <laughs> if I remember what happens, don't they get, um... Hello, Vinny. Don't they get, uh, stuffed? Or they come back to life or something? Or is that not a story? Is that another thing in Candy's story? I don't remember. Alright, so now we've just got night five, and I suppose six. I don't know what happens if you beat night six. That's a really good message. I'm glad someone sent me that. Again, with the with the night five call, where it's just unintelligible, distorted voices. It was in Treasure Island, it's in this, it's in so many other games. I think Blank disappeared again. Yeah, he's moving much faster this time around. <clears throat> I don't really like that. But it was to be expected, because, I mean, it's night... It's night five. Things speed up every night, but it's usually, like, a more noticeable jump with night five. Now, I don't... I don't exactly remember, but... Does the rat show up? in night five i don't think it does i think it's exclusively night six i'd really like that in this game when you go in the cameras and there's a character at the door you're not immediately screwed like in fnaf one because that sucks and there we go i don't know if that was just a case of me getting better Am I getting the flow of it better? But that felt easier than night four. Here we go, the last record. Record. We got blank and old candy. Before they were old. If we can see the shadow of the rat. Mary Schmidt. I don't exactly remember how night six goes. I don't, I think I just gave it one attempt last time and then I gave up immediately. Okay, I think that all this does is it is that the characters are more difficult and it adds Mr. Rat into the mix. I think is more of a threat. I believe he goes faster and not just every character is taking their turn at the door before I can open it. That is funny, funny, funny stuff. Love it when they do that. My, my, there is just no catching a break on night six at Candy's, Fergers, and Cro- and br Rise. <laughs> Messed up saying the already stupid thing I was trying to say. What? <laughs> okay, first try. That was not that bad, actually, at all, for some reason. Definitely didn't take me an hour and a half like night six on Treasure Island did. All right, cool. I got an extra $20 for that one. <laughs> wow. And then there is, of course, the custom knight. I'm not gonna bother with any custom knights in any of these games. And then we have the extras. I apparently have two stars and candies now, which means that I never beat knight six, even though that was like pretty dang easy. Oh, that's pretty cool. And you can zoom, get a good look at the details. That's pretty- these are like really good looking models. This is a very impressive remaster. Let's head into the next game. From Playing the second one because I've- this is the only one I've never played. I've played three a few months ago, and I, of course, played the first one like a year ago. And I've never played num number two. So, I'm not entirely sure how to play this. I'm- this is probably the one I'm gonna have a lot more footage of, because it's a way shorter game. That's the same- that's the vent, right? Yes. Okay. Okay, not bad. Not bad. Oh, it says die. That's so scary. Pretty important camera is this one, so that you know where the Sir Owl is. Keep forgetting that I can't be in the camera too long. Oh, Jesus. 
<laughs> just waddle away. Thank you. He's just making it easy for me. Going in the same vent every time. Did it again with the camera. That's not good. What do I do about him? That's right. When his patience runs out and he comes into the room, I just have to make sure that I close, that I turn out the lights extremely fast. That's right. What's it at? 370? Okay. Hmm. I don't exactly remember what I'm supposed to do with Senor. Oh, I don't exactly remember what I'm supposed to do with uh, eyeball, eyeball guy. You came again, Flumpty, really? My exposure is getting pretty high already. That's not good. Not getting me that time, buddy. Hmm. I assume Eyesore is going to move fairly soon. His patience is getting pretty low again. Oh god. You can leave now. Going pretty well so far. I don't want to jinx it. And may already have. But that's fine. We're all we're good here. We're all Gucci. He's starting to move. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Oh. What do I do about you? I don't know. I'm just going to try that. <laughs> okay so what he does is he just makes your your exposure go really high <laughs> you got me birthday boy is that what you wanted for your birthday was a dead guy on you in your in your in your place <laughs> God predicted that you you suck just walk away like you didn't even do nothing to me now flumpty's about to come back in reaching the last reaching the last hour here it's 5 a.m that one's already closed good for you you are an idiot i don't know why he keeps showing up or what he does i imagine he does something not good you're not gonna show up again are you i think that the red guy might just be a one-time thing I'm just gonna assume that he's really close to showing up. Yep, there he is. Oh, he just went in the same vent again. Good thing I got a mentally deficient owl. There we go! Spam! There we go! Now we have hard-boiled mode. I mean, I'm... Hmm. To say that because I've done, like, the secret harder nights in the previous games up to this point would be a reason to try it. I don't know, I feel like to do that for every game would end up biting me in the backside. But considering I've only been recording this for 20 minutes, I guess it's worth a shot. Already. That's not good. Laptop battery goes down faster, I think. I assume it would. <clears throat> Exposure obviously goes up faster, and they're gonna come more often, I'm assuming. Is the... And they're gonna come sooner, I guess, because the Grunkfist is already here. That sucks. Red man's already here. Is just everybody already active to just show up whenever they want? Fit, yeah, okay. Red red guy, red sore guy is showing up soon. Still 12 a.m. By the way. <laughs> yep, that <laughs> thought so. Letting the power go out on your computer kind of screws you. That one appears to not be any different. It's literally just a harder version of the of the actual night and i'm pretty sure that there is basically no reward it's just gonna be like well you did it <laughs> salami so i think i'm just gonna skip out on hard-boiled mode it's not it's out of the out of the night sixes so far this is the least interesting one so i yeah i'm just not gonna do it sorry about that um let's head into the next game Welcome to Five Nights at Chuck E. Cheese's. It's probably pretty obvious, but uh, it's been a little while since I've recorded the last section of this video. I think when I recorded the One Night at Flumpty's part of this video, 
it was like January 10th and now it's February 22nd. So yeah, I got to get this going. I got distracted by making videos. This game is actually made by the same people who made Treasure Island, which is the first game I played, I think. I don't actually know how to play this game. I, I think I saw a playthrough of it when it first came out like a year ago. But I do not remember how this game works at all. There's only five cameras, which I think will help things. The idea of a Five Nights at Chuck E. Cheese's is probably one of the most interesting because, I mean, there's no doubt that there was some inspiration from Chuck E. Cheese's when the original FNAF was made, right? Should I have been listening? There you are. Should I have been listening to the call? Because I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> that is a possibility. Only Chuck E. Chuck E. Cheese is gone and he's right here where is he there he is channel one in the play area um where am i though this camera system is kind of confusing to the arcade arcade oh so wait if he's in the arcade camera is that when i should be concerned or like do i have to wait until he moves again this is gonna take some figuring out, I get the feeling. Yeah, very funny. Goodbye. He's gone, okay. Where is he? He's back in channel one. Good. Okay. He is in channel five. That's good. So wait, there's no sound indication from for, for him leaving, to my knowledge. Oh, they have classic Pong arcades here. 1979, that makes sense. Okay. Oh, goodness. Alright, easy enough. I don't know why I expected that night one would be any more complicated than that. What? What am I doing? Stack of pans. Pair of scissors. What? Great! Apparently that's a Chuck E. Cheese hat. I did not know. You now have two hours off. Nice! I had plenty of time to do that. So, pretty forgiving. Stage call. I kind of... That kind of, that kind of sounds familiar. Chuck... Oh! Yeah, I guess that is his hat. Why did I never notice that? I thought it meant... I thought when it meant Chuck E. Cheese hat, I thought it meant like a... A regular cap, not his actual hat. I guess, whatever. I got it. Wow. He is scary. Why is he always on the ground if he has legs? What the- wait, that's some- that's something else. It's a spare Chucky cheese thing. Who is this? Is this just a- is this nothing? Is this just a- am I supposed to be concerned about that whole situation going on there? He's not moving. I don't like this, like, other Chucky in the- in this camera here. I don't know if that means anything. He's not moving, so I'm just gonna assume that it's nothing yet, at least. Ooh, this is spooky. Jasper, please go back to your stage, please. Oh, you're different. Something doesn't feel right here. Oh, I did it, apparently. I didn't even have to do anything. Chuck E. Cheese just went to the door once, and then I was good. <laughs> okay, Chuck E. Cheese hat. There. Television one, two. Clock, 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 clock. <sighs> Gray monitor. Clock. Check on here. Okay. Teapot. Lamp. L lamp. Gray monitor. I guess that's not a gray monitor. Oh. It's a cat guy again. What does he mean by gray monitor? This? Did it! Easy enough. Now I have two X. Oh, that's why I went by so fast. I've been shaving off two hours. I didn't... I completely forgot already. <laughs> For some reason, this guy never came back to his stage. That didn't seem to work. Hello again. 
Why is there two Chuckies? I still don't understand. What? Was that what I was supposed to do? Was I supposed to- Okay, I know what to do with the stage call now. I'm, assu I'm assuming I'm supposed to use the stage call when he's in the room. I had no way of knowing that when I played the second night. So I was just using the stage call left and right. Okay. They like leaving real quick. Why did I not think to use my stage call? I completely wasted my two extra hour, like, you know, removal from completing that game. I guess you just become extra stupid when you are panicking. Okay, so for him, I used the stage call. For Chucky, I just closed the door. There's still one, two, three more characters I gotta deal with. Wow, it's the, it's as easy as that. You don't even have to go through the entire- Oh my god, I'm so stupid. I'm a freaking nincompoop. And Chucky just goes back to where he's- I still don't know what, what the heck to do with this, like, other Chucky. And why is there another one that moves around? There's the, there's the main Chucky who is clearly had a, a rough go of it. That's Mr. Munch, he's leaving. I don't know what to do about him. Did the stage call work for him? I don't know, I don't know, it's not good. I'm dead. I am dead. <laughs> well, this suddenly got so much harder than I... than I was prepared for. I'm assuming what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to do the stage call first, because he goes back, like, immediately. I even took notice of that, and I didn't... I didn't do it. Uh, it takes Chucky much longer to go away. I'm sorry, I need to get back into the groove of playing these games. It's been over a month. Go back. It's literally, like, almost instant that he goes back. Why didn't I do that? Is that the sound of Chucky leaving? No, I think it's the sound of one of them leaving. I don't know- I don't think there's a sound to Chucky... ...leaving. That makes things a little more complicated. He just goes spooky in the cameras. Also, this guy is getting awfully close. I don't like that. There he goes. What was that? That was uh, Jasper leaving again. Good for him. So happy for him. I don't know. Okay, that didn't... Uh, I don't even act... I don't even know what to do about him. Why did this get a thousand times harder in, on night three? Like, a jump in difficulty in, uh, in, uh, just a ridiculous amount. <laughs> to the point where I have no idea where I'm- what I'm supposed to be doing. Like, I know, Chucky, you closed the door. Which speed- there- there he is. For Jasper, you're supposed to just do the stage call for Mr. Munch. I literally don't know. It seems like looking at him in the cameras works, but... I didn't even know that he was there. Was that voice line him and not the other Chucky like I thought? There he is again. I don't know what to do about this guy. I'm just going to hope that it is also just another situation of closing the door for him. Okay. What do you want from me? Mm. Please, I'm so close. And... Oh, still two more nights and possibly a sixth night. Oh god, I'm doing this now. Yellow button. Okay, that would be that one. Teapot. Um. Chuck E. Cheese hat. Yellow button. Tea. Nope. Oh, I only have two strikes. White yo yo. Okay. Well, okay. No, okay. Okay, I was gonna die anyways. Like I was gonna beat night four with that anyways. Okay. God, there's still two characters that haven't showed up yet.
But I'm gonna end too. I'm gonna anyways, because this is five nights, not four nights at Chuck E. Cheese. <sighs> this Chucky is back at it. I s still don't know what he does. He kind of just- is he- is he supposed to be like a red herring? Does he not actually attack? Or is he gonna- is he being saved for night five? Happy boy day to you. Sorry, my birthday was like three days ago. Chucky, you're a little late. What do you do, chicken? Oh, you're back. What did- what did she do? I don't- Okay. Great. Now I'm gonna end up getting killed by her because I have no idea what she does. Oh my god! Stop! What do I do about that? Am I, am I supposed to do a stage call when that is happening? Okay. What do I do about that? Okay. Apparently, to stop that character, you have to watch him in the cameras constantly. I swear it never ever said that in this game. So, I- Okay. So just stay on the camera that he is in. At all times. Or as long as possible. It's fine though. I know- I know what to do about him now. It seemed like after the hen left camera 3, that was when I... Was supposed to... Do the stage call. Okay, I did it. I don't know how or what. I do this is confusing. I'm I don't know. I think I might just be being stupid. Yeah, this guy has not moved at all and it's 3 a.m. So, watching him in the camera really works. Oh god. Hen is there, but it, for some reason the hen didn't actually Show up until like an entire minute later. Still don't really understand that. Okay. Okay. Knowing how to deal with costume, I guess his name is, made that a lot more manageable. Collect all items off the list. Sure. Oh god, it's even harder. A pink pin. Is that what this is? Oh, you have to collect all of them? Good lord. Pink pin. Pink lamp? Do I have to look for lamps? No. I can't screw this up even once. So, I think that means that I am going to. White yo-yo. Stack of trays. Um, maybe television. A cooking pot. Okay, well, I guess I don't even need to... Whatever, it's fine. Is there anyone that hasn't moved? Oh, you. Pas Pascali? You've not moved. What do you do now? Your calls have been less than helpful to me. You never even told me what Chef Man does. <laughs> nope. Okay, I guess that I well well Well, I guess I'm just gonna get jump scared by everybody today. So that's what the chef does. He just spazzes out on the he just spazzes out in his stage. No. No. Oh my good knees. Bam boom pow wanna bing bong. Red Andrews. 
$186 for that. How? You can't be that desperate. You can't be. Cool. Well, post nights challenges. Oh, no, I don't think so. All right. I've only got one star though so there's definitely some stuff that i missed but that's not really the point of this video is to 100 percent complete these games if you would like to see how this game is fully finished as long as, as well as these other ones you can of course go and watch some other youtubers support them or you can play the game for yourself which i recommend but anyways that was a surprisingly difficult one that was a lot harder than i expected it to me to to be or that's just because it's been a long time since i've played one of these games um i'm not sure but uh, anyways i think it's time that we headed on to the next game now this is an interesting pick for a game that i've decided Yes, I am playing the original Joy of Creation Reborn, and you're probably wondering why I'm not just playing Joy of Creation Story Mode. I almost did. I actually played, like, the first few levels, but I decided that that game doesn't really work with this format of video. I guess it's time that we just went into this. Let's, uh, play Freddy. Aw, oh, man. <laughs> man, I, I remember this. I can't believe it's been this long since this came out. Hi. Alright, I, I, I remember, like, you really have to be at a breakneck pace in this. Well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> I got, I, I got most of them, though. What? What is he doing? Well, I ran out of time, but I got all of them except for one. I may as well should just accept my fate. Hi. Kill me. And th this game is just fun. It's just simple fun. Crap. Crap. Oh my god, it's still scary. Oh no, not my good knees. You can't do this. You can't do this to me, Freddy. I don't know what's so dinkin' funny. Boy. God, it's so easy to get stuck on things. Oh, I ran out of time. That's funny. Wow. Well, that wasn't a good run, was it? All I could do was run. Where is he? Freddy! I'm here! There he is. Well, it appears I've gotten myself in a corner. Okay, I'm gonna try this a few more times. Maybe I'll spend like 10 minutes on each level. Before I just, uh... Because I, I, I imagine... I'm not really gonna beat any of these, to be honest. This isn't good. He's gonna get me. Bonnie's is cool. It's all. I also think it's harder because he yeah, he's in the basement, so it's a lot. It's a lot tighter corners. Well, that's unfortunate. I ran out of time again. Sounds like he's close. There he is. Goodness, his uh, his jump scare animation is still my favorite. It's really good. Oh my god, that that is scary. Sounds like he knows where I am. He's also much much faster than Freddy. Hey, at least I had one left. I think that's probably gonna be about as close as I get. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Uh, whatever, just kill me. <laughs> okay, I got to all of them but one again, so... I seem to be having better luck with this level than Freddy's level, to be honest. It's just that I, did, I run out of time. Before I can find the last one. Oh, well that's unlucky. That was a, that was a quick one. You're not gonna get me this time, bunny. Ooh, that's a good start. Ooh. Ooh. It is so easy to get stuck on crap in this- in this game. Oh, wow! <laughs> I think the scariest thing about this game is just hearing their- their monstrous footsteps coming at you at extremely high speeds, especially Bonnie. Hello. Isn't Chica the fastest one in this game? I don't remember. Oh yeah, and you get a- you get a very long time to do this. 200- 300 seconds, I mean. 
And doesn't she always follow you just like Slender? Yeah, I can hear her. Already! Don't look at her for too long. Otherwise, she will instantly kill you. Within five minutes, yeah. Wow. And you get like ten objects you have to find. Let's see how many I can get just by following the path. As expected. That's what makes all games scary is darkness. Not being able to see anything at all. And it doesn't help that your character runs like a... Like a... <laughs> Got it. Oh! Oh! I'm sorry! Okay, she was just standing there. That's good for her. Kind of broke the rules for a second there, huh, Chica? Fine. It's fine. You know what? Screw the path. Look how many I found already just by going off the path. Yeah, this, that was actually extremely lucky. I've almost found half of them already. Ooh, there you are. If I remember correctly, there are random moments where she just starts charging after you and you have to look at her to make her a stop. Oh, 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 yep, yep, she was doing it, I think. Getting a little close for comfort there. I think that this might be the most unnerving, the, mo the most scary level in this game, because... Ooh, I'm pretty, pretty tense right now. And you, it's just the, the idea that you have no idea when she's just gonna snap and charge after you. It's pretty spooky. Even if it's just a blatant inspiration of Slender, it, it works. And I think that a, that a giant animatronic like twice your size uh, with thundering footsteps is scarier than a tall, faceless man. Whoa, I've only got two left? I didn't even notice. Chica's there. She does seem to always stop for a second when you look at her. Because she's getting angry. Oh god, it's even worse when I don't know where she is. This is, uh, ooh, goo, I don't like it. Oh, she's there. Okay, that's good. That's slightly reassuring. I, ha I've, I have no idea where I am. If I remember correctly, there's always like an easter egg to the next level, like outside of the map. Like, in Freddy's level, you can find Foxy, uh, and Bonnie somewhere. And in Bonnie's level, I don't actually think that there is, because of how condensed his level is. And then in here, I think you're able to find the other animatronics outside the gates somewhere, outside the fence of the map, which is pretty cool. Objective failed. Well, I may as well should just stand here and let her kill me. I remember this one being pretty spooky when I play it. Well, I didn't play it. One thing I like about the Joy of Creation story mode, the full game, is that all of the levels are, like, based on the levels that we played in this game. So, it's cool to see the progression. Okay. Forgot that you can't look at Foxy at all with the light. Okay. You really suck. Go. Get out of the way! Why couldn't I move? I got stuck on boxes! God, I hate you. Okay, not that close, though. Hey, buddy. You don't... You know, there's a personal bubble, please. <laughs> You remember when I said that Chica was the scariest one? I may, 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 may have forgotten about how this one was. Okay. Yeah. I, uh, this one is definitely the scariest one. I, I'm sorry I was so blatantly. <laughs> okay. Are so mean to me sometimes. He, d he definitely gets. Well, that's not good. He's right in. The, he's right in my way. He definitely gets aggroed faster when I sprint. Oh my god, this sucks. <laughs> there was literally. How was I supposed to escape that? <laughs> oh my god. It appears that I'm gonna be getting myself in the same situation here. Okay, so. God, you are... You really... Really gotta back up some... Some little bit. I will not, please let me get at least one more. Where are all of them? I had... Oh my god. Holy goodness. I know you're gonna do it in a second. 
I can smell it. I can smell it. There you go. That's a good boy. Oh, this is a predicament. Where is he? There he is. Kind of went in a circle there. I failed. And there he is. I'm just going to let him. <laughs> <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. I did it! <laughs> wow. Um, at least I completed one of these levels. Hi there. Good night. And I got really close to beating all of the other ones. So I think that that there is satisfying enough. A nice change of pace from the gameplay style of the other games that I've played in this video thus far. And a nice little injection of nostalgia from good old 2016 or whenever this came out. But anyways, we just have one more game left before this video is finally over. I, I'm very sorry it took this long for me to finish it. I need to get better about, about this. <laughs> We have finally reached the final game in today's video. This is Pop Goes, which, you know, perhaps isn't the best game to choose for the final one because I know that uh, a lot of people didn't really like this one. I remember thinking that it was decent back when I watched it, which I think was a while ago now, but I've never played it before, so I want to take a look at it. And I do know that Pop Goes is getting rebooted with some new games, which is pretty exciting. Because I think that even the creator is not very proud of it at this point. A cool thing that this game does already is the fact that you can actually go out into the room with the animatronics. It's pretty spooky. Okay. I think I'm starting to remember what you do in this. Because I'll be honest, just judging by looking at each room... And the way that the ca the cameras are set up, it's pretty confusing. Mm, there's Pop Goes. Yep, still don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> um, it looks like Pop Goes has already got a a a, a part for uh, Shadow Bonnie, which is not good. <sighs> I guess some fresh air. So do I shut down any of the rooms? Room shut down. I'm just gonna try that. Uh, uh oh, room shut down. I'm gonna guess that's what I'm supposed to be doing. Yeah, he doesn't have any parts. Okay, I'm starting to get it. There he is. Get out of there, boy. And then I think when this guy is moving, I'm supposed to hit these buttons or this button. And then the squirrels are for the, in the vents. I'm pretty sure. If I remember correctly, that is. Speaking of squirrels, have they moved yet? Nope. I imagine that's not a thing that's gonna happen in this night, at least. Get out of there. I don't know why shutting off the camera makes you leave. That doesn't entirely make sense, but, you know, whatever. What time is it? 4 a.m.? Nice. And then I think you're just screwed once Shadow Bonnie is fully built. So just, you know, don't let that happen. Man, get rid of pop. Getting rid of pop goes is pretty dang easy. Man, this is very long. Very long considering uh, how. There we go. Oh my goodness! Do you get it? Pop goes the weasel. Uh oh, the squirrels have moved. Whatever will I do? Oh, he got another piece. Criggity. What the heck? Oh, because my panic. Duh. Crap. I'm not doing very good. There they are. Heat. Get heated. Losers. <laughs> Get out. Get out. Okay, it doesn't exactly feel like this is going too well. I don't know, maybe it is. Crap, I keep... Running down that room on accident. Oh my goodness. The panic is annoying. Uh, what are you? What? What? How many have you gotten? What in the world? And it takes needing to use the heat on the vents multiple times. Like three, four times before the squirrels disappear. 
Why are they still coming in? I am confused by this. Okay, I gotta start and get into it more. Like, go go faster. I've tried. What? Why won't they go away? I don't understand what this. What the? What, what to do with them? Is it just a case of trying to, you know, keep them at bay for as long as possible? I've heated up the vent multiple times now. Probably closer to ten than five. Wait, what? You know what? Forget what I just said. Yay, I did it! Um, st still not sure as to why the squirrels just stayed there the entire night. What does it mean, though? Remember colors, call the badger. Okay, there they are. Uh, I'm still not entirely sure about the squirrels. I get the feeling that heating it up is just a case of... Slowing them down to make sure that they don't get through the vent, because that just looks like straight-up lasers. What? What just happened? What? What just happened? Like, actually, what just happened? Everything just shut off, and my... My... Panic started going up way high. And then I died. What just happened? I don't... I'm not even gonna... Uh. And it doesn't really help that the phone calls don't really help me at all. They just It's just a guy over the phone going like, Do you know that this place is actually pretty cool? It makes me pretty happy. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna talk about more unrelated stuff. Bye. And it's like, oh, okay. I'll just go screw myself then. I'm not sure. <laughs> um, hmm. remember the colors. So he was in here. He said, "Remember the colors." Am I just supposed to input? All I saw was red, though. I don't understand. Oh, there he is. He's going into his room. He what? Yellow. Sorry about that. You literally just have to hit the button that is to his, uh, to his left. And, and then you, then you hit the, the badger button. Which looks a lot like Pop Goes. His head shape is very similar. Okay, I get it now. It took some trial and error as, you know, FNAF games usually do. What color? Pink. Goodbye. Wow. <laughs> that instant. What? I saw Toy Freddy. I think that was an Easter egg. I mean, obviously it is, because Toy Freddy doesn't belong here. Oh, screw you. Fine, take it. Is Badger here? No, he's not. Thank you, good sir. Where do Pop goes go? Where? There he is. They're still in there. They just really like chilling forever, I guess. Fine by me. As long as they stay out there. Okie dokie. Uh, he's about to go in. What color? That would be that one. There he is. Back again. Uh, back at it again, uh, creepy cream. There he is. Good man, Badger. Red. And the squirrels are still there. They just, um, they're just doing their own thing. Oh, badger. What is that? That one? Okay. That was a close one. Such intense gameplay. Did the, did Pop Goes get another piece? No, he's there. Unless he did get another piece. I don't know. Oh, boy. God, it's been 5 a.m. forever. These nights are very slow. Does 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 any of this get explained? I I'm not sure. Like the the toy animatronics are trapped. See what the what do you what? I just shot off a camera with you. How did he already get one? This guy's calls are so pointless. He's just telling me his life story now. Like wh how is that supposed to help me? Oh you idiot! He got another piece. Oh, I think <laughs> I think that um. 
Shadow Bonnie is gonna be a problem soon. And by problem, I mean instant death. Oh my god, he's so much quicker! Stop. This is... Mm. Stop. This sucks. Oh my god, what do you expect me to do? There's so much. Panic goes up faster, the squirrels are- I guess they're still doing their thing, but like... Oh my god. This is so bad. Look at how much- there- I think there's like two parts left now. Before Shadow Bonnie is completed. Okay. What did you just- I've been heating up the vent for the squirrels the entire night, and they still got me. Fifty two and a half minutes and I'm still only at night four. This game is unnecessarily long. I'm taking a break. Let's do this. What the fuck? Where was he? I literally looked everywhere. Where is he? He literally is not even appearing on the cameras anymore. That is actually bullcrap. I looked in every single one of those cameras in three different occasions and he was not there in any of them. You know what? I think I'm done. I, I, this game, it, I'm sorry. Uh, I understand now why people don't really like it. That is not fun. So to make up for that, Here's a secret seventh game that won't be in the title or th or or thumbnail. Um, that is going to be very interesting, I think. <laughs> this game doesn't even have a. It doesn't even have a main menu. Uh, yes, welcome to the secret final game. This is Five Nights at Nikocado Avocados. Um, as you can see, it's probably going to end up being a masterpiece. What? What does this mean? That's a FNAF 2 sound effect. But this is based on FNAF 1. <laughs> oh my God! This is way worse than I. Could have even imagined. I think that's the sound they make when they're moving. You know, I was hoping that this would be a little more meme but it's literally just FNAF 1 with Nikocado Avocado walking around instead of animatronos. Woo! Look at that man. Look at that absolute unit. Is there actually five whole nights of this? Oh. Actual footstep sounds. There there he is in the in the hallway to my right. Oh no. I get the feeling this purposely does not have any correct sound effects. There he is. What? What did that What does that mean? Is that Markiplier? I think- I think that that's Markiplier. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my god, it's only 2 a.m. There better not be actually five nights of this. What did he- Nick Ka- oh! Is that supposed- who is that? Is that supposed to be Ned? You know, from Spider-Man? I don't think it is. Oh no, there he is! Oh my god, it is! <laughs> Are you kidding me? We got a very interesting roster of characters going on here. We got- we got Nick, obviously, the king. Ned from Spider-Man. 
Markiplier. Did you just... <laughs> this is ridiculous, like... I mean, I don't know what I was expecting. I really, really don't know what I was expecting. At least it's very generous with your power. That's good, at least. I like how it says that it's in the corner camera, but you can clearly see that there is nothing there. Through the doorway. This is just ridiculous. I don't know what that thing is. I mean, if there really is five nights to this, like, this would be, like, the... The longest FNAF game ever. Oh no, not Ned. That is ridiculous. I can't... <laughs> this is... Truly the best. Truly the best game that I've played so far. Oh, did... It just crashed. A truly interesting experience that was. And I think that that is an absolutely beautiful way to end this journey of a video that has been... Well over a month in the making. Well, no, not really a month in the making. It's just been, um... Well over a month since I started making it, and I'm gonna say once again, I'm very sorry about taking this long to finally finish this video. Uh, I'm glad I did, though. It was a lot of fun to to check out some very y unique games. Also, uh, I apologize for not finishing Pop Goes. I hope you forgive me with, you know, I, I tried to pay you back with the beautiful game that was Five Nights at Nikocado Avocados. I hope that made up for it. But, uh, anyways, I think that that is going to end this video here. If you want to check out the original part of this video, where I played the FNAF 1 through 6 of the official FNAF series, there will be a link to that video in the description below. Um, and anyways, uh, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more videos like this in the future and possibly give me some suggestions on what I could do, then leave a like and subscribe, turn on post notifications so next and when I stream next, and if you actually made it to this point in the video, because I know it's going to be pretty long, thank you a lot. Like, seriously. Like, the the amount of support on the original 6 FNAF Games video that I did back in, like, May of 2020, the support on that video in the comment section has been the best out of any other video that I have made on my channel. But anyways... Thanks again for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, everyone!